is formally called Where to Bench. They have renamed themselves to Benchmark. They're going to be represented by Adrian Chang this evening. And Benchmark proposes to help residents meet, get together, have conversations, discuss ideas, and create spaces where people can connect in their neighborhoods. And we really look forward to seeing how we accomplish this plan. So Adrian, do you want to come out? And just a reminder, five minutes. And then after you present, we're going to bring your whole team out. You guys have 10 minutes to interact with the team. Five minutes, I'll come out and stop you. 10 minutes, I'll definitely stop you guys. All right, so let's go. Have fun. She moved to my block last year. She spends a lot of time working and spends most of her free time interacting with screens, not people. For quite a while, Ella didn't know any of her neighbors. Last winter, when her car got snowed in, she had to dig it out with a ladle, soup ladle, because she didn't know who to ask for help. That isn't surprising. Do you know your neighbors? Less than half of American adults know most of their neighbors. 28% don't know any of their neighbors by name. How can we not know the names of the people that live next door? And what does that mean for the health of our neighborhoods? I love our block party because it's a great opportunity to connect with neighbors. That's how I met Ella. Turns out she likes early morning runs too, but wasn't comfortable being out alone when it was still dark. A few of us decided to start a morning running group. We also told her about the community watch. It felt good to connect. The problem is, the bench, the block party, is only once a year. We need to create places and opportunities to engage with our neighbors more often. Maybe this is contrary to what you would expect, but the primary way that neighbors, that people stay informed about community issues is through in-person encounters, not the internet. Those who know their neighbors are more likely to have face-to-face -face talks about community issues, as long as they have a place to talk and gather. I'm starting to figure out how to work with my neighbors on important local issues. But here's the thing. Most people don't know how to do this work. Research shows that people feel they don't have the power or resources to make decisions, they don't trust others to work with them, and they feel that they lack the spaces and opportunities for this work. So what spaces are available and enabling of community interaction? How do we create opportunities to connect? You've heard of placemaking. This is a new category called benchmarking. Benchmark is a new placemaking initiative to activate public spaces for community building. The mission of Benchmark is to create the place that allows citizens to connect, identify issues and solutions, and organize and take action. We propose placing public benches, timeless intuitive objects for gathering, in residential areas all throughout Chicago. These benches will become social and organizing places. Benchmarking will enable citizens, prompt citizens, to engage and interact. With this bench on our block, Neighbors have a place to connect and communicate. The bench creates organic opportunities to interact beyond the once a year block party. We think all blocks should have this place. The first year goal is to place at least one bench in each of Chicago's wards. How? Benchmark is envisioned as a grassroots community engagement program. Last year, 48 block parties were held in the 4,800 block parties were held in the city of Chicago. The key to Benchmark's initial success is to leverage already engaged neighbors planning their block parties. The way it works is you submit an application to your block, to your alderman's office. You can also submit applications requesting additional resources such as a jumpy house or a fire truck visit. We propose adding one more option: the offer of a free bench kit that neighbors can build together as a block party activity. After neighbors build their bench, 
They can visit the Benchmark website and share how they use their bench, upload photos, and provide suggestions for further community engagement. As Benchmarkers share their experiences, Benchmark will expand its reach through social media and community engagement. For instance, imagine a bench warming where 50 community Chicago Community Trust ambassadors deliver plates of warm cookies to 50 new benches on 50 blocks in each of Chicago's 50 wards. That would be a Twitter and Instagram sensation. Sounds good, right? We have a 30, 90, 60, 90 day plan, and here's what we need to get started. We need resources for the first 50 bench pins. We can build these for less than $50 a bench. We need pro bono consulting services to develop our website, PR, and social media plans. We need strategic partners like Home Depot. We also, and most importantly, need a partner for the project. Benchmark is envisioned as a streamlined program that can thrive within an existing infrastructure. We've identified several organizations that are already doing this type of work, and we hope that you can help us make a connection and find Benchmark a home. Join us, connecting Chicago residents, one bench at a time.